What's up, guys? Welcome to Sketch Today Live. I am Spencer. If you're watching on the Instagram, welcome to the beginning of the show. I'm gonna start by warming up like we always do. Today is Sci Fi Sunday, so that's what we'll be doing. And uh, hopefully, you guys are able to give some suggestions and whatnot, all that good stuff. But we're gonna kick things off with our warm up like we always do. Definitely check in, let me know where you're watching from. I'm always curious to see who's tuning in, so thanks for joining on Sketch Day Live today. All right, let's kick things off with some straight lines. If you want to catch the rest of the stream and you're watching on Instagram, you'll want to head to sketchaday.live or youtube.com slash sketchaday.com. And there you'll be able to catch everything we do. I've got my iPad today. We're going to do some quick speed painting uh, stuff here. We might do some robots, we might do some alien stuff, we might do weapons. We'll see. My goal is to crank out about four reasonably finished pieces, so let's go and do it. You can join the Discord if you'd like to contribute, or you can join the YouTube chat as well. And once again, my speaker is acting weird, so Apologies for the weird music things happening. <laughs> Remy says, hey, Black Ross. Hey, hey, Remy, what's up? Tom, hello. Space Station. That sounds fun. I think I'll put that on the list of uh, things to cover here. But as always, just warming up. I can't really see the chat on Instagram. I thought I would be able to figure it out before the stream today, but can't really see what you guys are saying if you're saying anything so my apologies you're kind of off to the side over my shoulder here but we'll get that sorted soon enough but like I said you can join the discord best place to be though is the YouTube live chat I have that up on my screen I can respond to stuff take requests hope you're having a good Sunday and staying safe now that everyone's watched Tiger King three times we can hang out in peace, right? Let's do some ellipses. I think I mentioned last stream I just started watching Ozark, and that's a crazy show. If you've never seen it. It's kind of like Breaking Bad meets... I don't know. It's, it's just interesting. And uh, if you're an Arrested Development fan... Horrible with actors' names, but... Um, familiar face there. All right, series of ellipses here. And I have an idea of a few things I wanna draw, but open to suggestions. Tom suggested a International Space Station of sorts. I could do that, that'll be a quick one. So maybe we'll, maybe we'll do five today, we'll see. And this is just my warm up. some of what I like to do here. I did forget to do my ellipses in my circles, so I'll do a few of those. Just a little slice warm up. Slicing through these circles, almost like they're oranges. Getting my control and perspective locked in, ready to go before we start drawing stuff. Yeah, I have no idea what's going on here, so. All right. I met with the music, not with the drawing. <laughs> so Sketch Day Live, Sunday, Sci-Fi Sunday. We're doing it again. So if you have suggestions or requests that are sci-fi related, let me know. I'll see if I can work them into what I'm planning on doing. All right, that's good enough for now. So Instagrammers, once again, if you're joining in, I will be, <coughs> pardon me, I will be jumping off the stream. Instagram only lets me stream for about an hour, so I kind of like to move the show over to YouTube, so feel free to join me there. All right, so first request was some sort of space station thing. 
And I think we can do that one fairly quickly. So modules tend to be somewhat cylindrical. Maybe we have some connector pieces that we can sketch in. Something like this. And maybe this way. Maybe this is kind of a, a nexus to this space station thing. You know, we want to go down as well, perhaps. Maybe there's a sphere, a sphere module here. On top. Maybe some sort of observation module. Of course, we'd have solar panels, all that good stuff. This is on a small piece of paper too. I made the mistake of starting small, so this is gonna be a little bit rough, but we'll see if we can make it work. All right, some sort of solar panels here. Just drawing through. Again, warming up, getting that basic geometry in. Of course, we'll use some markers, cheap markers, to get this right. If this is your first time here and you like the show, definitely hit subscribe. Make sure the alerts are on because if alerts aren't on with YouTube, you don't know when I post stuff. And I, I do post stuff every day, I'd say 99% of the time now. And if I don't post, I'll usually give you an update, time lapse, something like that. But just make sure you have those alerts on. All right, maybe these are some sort of canisters for storage or it could be part of a propulsion system. We'll just go ahead and sketch these in. I think I'm sketching the ellipses wrong, but we'll fix that as we go. All right, maybe something like that. Feeling pretty good. Okay. There's that warm up we just did, right? There's that warm up. So don't discount the warm ups, the things we do to get those juices flowing. All right, quick chat check in futuristic furniture, optical telescope, spaceship. Let's draw the future, says Foxhound. What's up? Candace wants a Stargate or Portal. That's an interesting one. That'd be fun. Something like that. Anyhow, just kind of making it up as I go. I haven't really observed the space station. So I'm kind of just riffing, drawing some modules, maybe a couple windows, apertures, openings, and so forth. Yeah, you know, stuff like that. A couple panels here and there. And once I apply markers, it'll kind of bring things together as well as adjusting line weights and all that good stuff. Okay, let's get back to this one. Just fix this ellipse. Maybe this is our docking portion and maybe this has like some sort of grip here or robotic arm of some sort my internet looks like it's struggling today so let me know if you guys see any errors or anything happening it's a little bit rough I think it's just that everyone's using the internet, so. Last time I got this message, there's a little message on my screen. People said it was fine, so. Just 
let me know. This is Sketch Day Live, Sci-Fi Sunday edition. Thanks for joining, being a part of this great experiment. It's been super fun. Working on some fun things to release this week as well. So, Black Ross related. So watch out for that. Yeah, it's weird. On my end, the stream says it's fine, but then on YouTube, it's not fine. Really, really weird. And I forgot to start recording for Facebook, so if you're going to be watching this on Facebook, you have missed a portion of this. So definitely make sure you catch the live stream. Comfy armchair. That sounds interesting. Like a futuristic comfy armchair? Or what? What are we thinking? Okay, Instagrammers, I'm going to bounce. I think uh, having the two streams is putting a little pressure on my slow internet here. So I'm going to bounce. Thanks for watching and hanging. If you want to catch the rest of the stream, though, head over to youtube.com slash sketchaday.com. And we'll see you there. Peace. Okay. <clears throat> Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully we can manage to stream the rest of this without too many problems now. It's a little bit chunky up front here. So I'm going to kind of reduce the size of this connecting piece. Like so. How's the wood furniture project going, asks Remy. Um, I just got my CNC finally put together. I'm going to run a test after the stream. And I'm going to be working on... I'm trying to decide if I want to show it on... <clears throat> Pardon me. If I want to show it on the street, on the channel here, or start something different, but we'll see. I actually have, I would say a decent Instagram for my furniture stuff. So part of me is like, let me just have a YouTube for that, because I've got a lot of projects I'm going to be doing. I might as well share it. But then the other part of me is like, you already have two and a half YouTubes. Do you need another YouTube channel? So we'll see. Maybe after I get a hold of a sketch day here, I'll separate it into its own channel. But in any case, yeah, I'll share some updates. May, it might be in the story. It might just be on my Instagram. Um, but I'll have those available. All right, not using any ellipse templates. I just want to kind of keep it sketchy, keep it loose, as always. Maybe there's another solar panel out this way or something. Something like that. We did solar panels when we did our Mar Mars rover. I think that was uh, two weeks ago or a week ago? Two weeks ago. So we're back with more solar panels here. No gray marker this time. We're just freestyling it. That's how I'm going to do most of these sketches today. We're going to freestyle. We're going to paint. We're going to have fun. Futurist futuristic spacesuit for further travel to Mars. That sounds fun. We'll see if we can mix that in. If we don't catch it this show, maybe next show. But that sounds pretty fun. So thank you for that idea. These space stations often have like robotic arms, right? So not outside the realm of possibility to have one kind of sticking off the bottom here. Again, trying to respect this perspective. This right here is just the outline of some planet. We don't know if it's Earth 
or it could be Mars, whatever the case may be. That's all that is. Alright, I think we should have some people like standing by the window. This is the airlock. I'm gonna draw the rest of this off the page. Just to frame it out. Thanks, Tom. And maybe I'll go up as well with this portion. I mean, not exactly futuristic. I'd probably have to draw a few of these just, just to kind of get the hang, but fun nonetheless. And maybe it's a bit of sci-fi because it doesn't really exist. Not yet. Maybe someone from NASA is watching or the ISA. Who knows? Who knows? All right, so we got my sketch here. Now let's jump to some quick marker. Cheap markers again. We're gonna use our Ohuhu, Ohuhu markers. Now I gotta pick colors. That's always the hard part, you know? Making sure you have the right colors and grays and all that stuff. Okay, just because I don't wanna, well, let me think on this. I'm gonna start with the space station. And I'll use some cool grays, cool gray too. A guy in a tiny suit corrected to space suit. Okay, because I was like, tiny suit? What do you mean? Lots of gray, of course. You know, the materials here are metal or something. And I like the marker. It's just a quick way to add some depth to the sketch and reinforce what's happening with the line work as well. All right, something like that. And yeah, I didn't want to do the black, ah, not the black ground, the background right away because there's some blends and things I want to kind of try. And I'm thinking about those while I'm drawing this. So it's kind of a two part, two fold effort here. Multitasking technically. All right, so we did draw the solar panels behind here and I need to obscure that somehow. So what I'll probably do is make this piece a little bit darker and that's gonna obscure a bit of kind of the sketches in the background. All right, and this is gonna be some weird planet. I don't want it to be Earth necessarily. So I'm gonna go ahead and just create an outline here. This orange. And we're gonna make stuff up as we go. And this is really just a giant sphere, okay? And if this if the light source is behind the sphere or on this side, kind of want to be respectful of that. So as I'm shading this in, I'll just get a nice base color in here and apply some other colors as well. Or maybe this thing's even orbiting the sun or something, we don't know. But there's some planet down here or something, some celestial body down here. And I do know that we're gonna blend a bunch of grays and stuff, um, but I do know close to the planet, I want this gray to be Somewhat concentrated. All right. Because we're in space here. Let's 
push the chisel tip be a little bit better. This is Sci-Fi Sunday and this is Sketch a Day. Thanks for joining. If you're new here, hit subscribe, turn on alerts. We go live three times a week. And don't want you to miss out the opportunity to hang out with us. Sketch a day and chill with Black Ross on this Sunday afternoon. I should have been a DJ or something. <laughs> That'd be so much fun. I'm like a sketch J. Or visual J. Does that make you a VJ? Technically? A VJ? Alright, and we've got these windows. You know, opening, so I'll shade some of these in dark as well. I'll have to do some blending and all that good stuff. Looks like we hit a snag here in the stream. Let's see if it picks back up. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, not sure what's happening, but we're going to keep going. Hopefully it'll pick back up. You guys can catch all of this. If not, I am recording it, so you can also catch it on the YouTube, or I'll just upload it again to YouTube and Facebook, I mean. Space food packaging. That would be interesting. Yeah, let me know how the stream is and if it's like totally messed up. On my end, it's like frozen, so I can't really tell, which kind of stinks, but let me know. My apologies about that. Okay. So we got our green gray. I'm gonna mix in some cool gray as well. Really what I need is like some purple. Just to make, yeah, there we go. A little bit of fringe purple. As always, I will be uploading the sketches here to the Google Drive so you can check those out at any point after the stream. So these secondary colors are kind of serving to, well, I'm gonna bring some purple in um, to the kind of the top portion of the drawing. So these secondary colors are just kind of reflected light helping um, pull everything together. Okay, I think I survived. Nope, I did not survive. <laughs> the stream, the stop. Sorry about the video, so sorry. I think I'm gonna have to re-upload this to YouTube, so. And I'll probably just keep it short today because I don't know what's happening. Okay, I'm hoping this works a little bit better. I have changed the video resolution. 
so let me know if uh, this works okay if not we will try a few other things apologies for the short break this is sketch day live thanks for joining Okay, it should work. Quality is a little bit less, but here we are, making it, making it happen. So some shadowing in here on the far side. Now this is an interesting uh, challenge because the lighting's not going to be what I'm used to or accustomed to with uh, indoor interior lighting. So I'm trying to think about all the possible or potential um, things that might be in the lighting in the scene. So it's gonna be a little bit different. <clears throat> Yeah, my computer here for some reason is just struggling, so I don't know what's happening. Yeah, sorry guys. Looks like it's good now. So, let's see if we can get this show going. Again, my apologies. <laughs> it's kind of a mess. Always seems to happen every now and then, so sorry about that. See if it catches up here. Looks like it's working so we're back <laughs> sorry about everything and we may have more issues but I had to reboot my computer um, so yeah thanks for hanging thanks for understanding just a really weird time now everyone's trying to do this so I think my internet connection was just crying a little bit But we'll keep going. Thanks to those who stuck around and stayed. We are back. <clears throat> yeah, I had to, I use a Mac Pro and I had to uh, reboot it. So, yeah, that was not fun. My apologies. So kind of what I'm doing here is instead of down lighting or up, yeah, down lighting, I'm doing some up lighting on this thing because we have this planet so I want this side to definitely be light okay and anything on the far side is just gonna be darker so that's what I'm trying to do but also want to be respectful of any other light you know secondary tertiary sources that might be kind of influencing things here so once I have the other marker um, or gouache or whatever it is we end up doing you'll kind of see what I'm talking about a bit more but even these shadows here right just keeping this area lighter and then further back here now I can go darker and I'll start with some gray for the rest of the 
expanse of space here. Some of you are still here, not all. I think we lost like half of the people, so, which is fine. Sometimes things just go sideways and you learn to deal with it. Today is one of those days. All right. So I want this base gray. And then on top of this, I'm gonna kind of get some purples in. <clears throat> Yeah, either Comcast is punishing me or just everyone's trying to like do happy hours with their friends right now or something. So, I don't know. Okay, so hopefully you can kind of see what I'm talking about here. Just getting a little bit of, of this blue purple tone in for the rest of the, the space scene. And then going a bit more intense up top here. What a ride. Sketch Day Live. Thanks for joining, all 11 of you. <laughs> Thanks for hanging. So, yeah, I can probably take more requests right now. I am using, what's up, Kyle? I'm using uh, Copic marker paper, Copic brand. That's what I'm using right now. All right, so maybe on this side, or even, let's see if this will work. Yeah, we can play with having some some orange nebula-like things happening, you know, maybe over here. This feels like a nice way to tie it all together. So we'll create some interesting blends, make that work. Might take a bit of work, but we can get it. So a couple streaks and then now just a little bit of a random stroke with some stippling there to ease that transition. Maybe I won't do digital today just because of time. <clears throat> we'll see. As I have been saying, hopefully you guys are staying safe and being smart out there with your friends, family, loved ones, work, all of that good stuff. And thanks again for being a part of this Sketch Day Live. Just a little blend out here. We've got another review coming this week on the channel, so stay tuned for that. I finally got around to installing my super cheap drawing tablet. So I'll be showing that off and giving some of my impressions um, I ordered some other markers to kind of test and give you guys some other options. So those will be coming later in the week as well. Not sure if I'll necessarily get to reviewing those this week. Depends on when they show up, but that's the idea. Thank you, Bumblebee. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit wonky, but I'm going to roll with it. See if we can salvage, salvage a bit of it. What's up, Bik here? Welcome. We had some technical difficulties earlier. I 
think we mostly sorted that out. My connection is like dipping in and out. So my apologies to those who joined earlier and came upon a mess. But if you've never joined us before, this is not how it usually goes. So hit subscribe, turn on alerts, tell your mama, your kids, come hang out. As we go live three times a week here on Sketch -a Day with Black Rawls. I mean, I could only hope to be as cool as Bob Ross, but it felt right. And maybe it'll just serve as a bit of motivation for myself to work harder and get better at what I do. Because Lord knows I have a lot to learn and a lot of improvements to make. I feel like if I get to a point in life where I don't feel like I need to improve, That's when I'm in trouble. At least that's how I like to think about it. All right, I'll probably leave this sketch in a little bit. It's kind of frustrating me that all that stuff was happening in the background. So we'll move on, do some other stuff. I believe there was a request for some sort of spacesuit. Now, if I'm going to do a spacesuit, I want it to be like interesting. So, are you thinking like a suit that an astronaut would use on the surface or a flight suit? What kind of suit are we are we thinking of here? I need some some inspiration. There's no... <laughs> Maybe so, Remy. Remy says he figured out the problem with the stream. It's because... There's no antenna on the space station. I mean, there could be some truth to that. There could be. Or it could just be that I'm like streaming music at the same time. I did send my kids to their auntie's house to work on baking a cake. So I figured, hey, no one's streaming except for me. This should just work just fine, but apparently not. But yeah, I'm, I'm actually genuinely really excited for this week, and I hope you guys um, enjoy the content that I'm working on. I had fun with it. There's going to be a little bit of transportation, sketching a little bit of nature. I may have a little different episode as well. The review is coming so it's been a fun week and uh, I hope you guys enjoy it too all right so this part of the ship like I said I wanted to kind of have a bit of this orange light so I'm gonna start with just a little reddish orange tone here and just catch anywhere on the ship that would be kind of impacted by the light of this planet. And yeah, it's just a quick sketch, but these things just, I think they just help overall. When you're trying to build a scene or throw something in there, it just really helps. little too intense but that's okay it's 
a little better. You might be wondering, why did you put down that very light peach if you're covering up most of it? I'm not covering up most of it. There's little hints of it left. You want that, and you want the blends into the gray and all that good stuff, because that's what's going to help. Help this feel like a cohesive rendering scene. Okay. Hello, Wen. What about a living quarters sketch? Like, you mean the inside? We could do that. Maybe the theme is this the spaceship. So there could be a launch vessel for like landing on the surface of whatever this is. There could be the suit. We could do a helper robot. Someone talked about food packaging. So yeah, a lot of stuff we can do. So maybe we'll just do that. Couple tiny rivets here and there just to help things out. Let's get our solar panels. Oh, we're back to 23 people. Woo! That was, was some scary times, guys. Not really scary. I just like putting on a good show for you. Special shout out and thanks to, I forgot to call out these people on the last show. But fortunately for me, I took notes. I want to give them a special, special thanks. So special thanks to Joel last week. Joel. I won't say last name because I don't want to, you know, cause you grief in your life by <laughs> people looking you up. But thank you for the contribution. Yes, last last time that was a uh, Friday. It's much appreciated. And Remy as well. Thank you so much for the contribution. Anything big or small, always welcome. I do this because I love it, and I hope you guys can feel the love learn and all of that so um, anything extra is appreciated but not required by any means at all helper alpaca robot <laughs> continuing the alpaca theme <laughs> um, I'm gonna upload a scan of this as well so that you can see the real colors so watch out for that that'll be on the Google Drive Now I'm going to just add some white where we need it. This particular pen is, what's this? This is a Uniball, Sino, Signo. So I like it. It's kind of, it's a pen you kind of have to work with a little more slowly than my other white pens, meaning the ink flow is such that it just performs better if I kind of go slow with it. And this rim light just kind of helps separate the space station here from the background. And if that's not intense enough, I do have another marker pen I like to use. And, well, two actually. Ah, so this is the Molotov pen, and we've got the Pit Artist pen as well. So this one's a bit more translucent with that white. I 
I am considering working on a video about white pens if you guys are interested or want to know my thoughts or takes on that. So let me know. I'd be happy to put that together as well. So after I do this white stuff here, what I'll do is start working on just a couple spots in the background stars. Just to kind of help with the overall scene. Okay, so we got a couple responses, people wanting to know about white pens. So yeah, I can do that um, on the channel for sure. And I want to blend out a bit. Just looking at it, this blend isn't quite what I'm looking for. And I need a little bit more contrast with the black. So I'll keep working on that. So this gray is just blending over the orange and purple. So it should help kind of pull things forward a little bit more. Yes, we do need some happy little stars. Happy little stars. Just carefully placed wherever you want. I think there was a request earlier for something like a Stargate. So I could do a scene like that. Maybe we'll just tell a whole story. You know, there's a, an interstellar vessel that's about to dock with the station here. Maybe they're gonna go down to the planet, investigate something. Happen upon happen upon a dimensional portal of some sort. So we won't we won't exactly do boards, but I like the idea of kind of crafting a little bit of a story here with all the stuff that we do. What's up, Charlie? Hey, you made it after all the crazy technical stuff I was going through, so should be okay for the rest of the stream here it might be a little choppy but bear with me I think just everyone is using the internet in my neighborhood at least if not in general so thanks for being here and showing up hanging out all that good stuff on sketch day live the Sunday sci-fi edition I'm not sure if I'll do this next week meaning sci-fi but um, I'd love to hear from you guys if there's another topic or theme you'd like to see I know we've done aquatic things we haven't done an architecture specific show but it's always a popular request something architecture um, so let me know if if that's something you want to see happy to take a look at that Pause again. Be right back. Boom. Okay, let's see if this works. <clears throat> Once again, this is Sketch Today Live. Thanks for joining. We did take a minute on this one. 
but that's okay. I'm kind of happy with it. Let's finish this off. not done any PPE yet. I have been avoiding doing that because I don't want to capitalize on the crisis. If someone wanted to hire me for my design work to do that, sure. Meaning I'm actually doing it for a real thing, but I don't want to just do it to do it. <clears throat> so I hope you understand. Um, and that's, that's just a personal moral choice I'm making about my work, so. It just feels a little bit icky when I think about myself doing it. I'm not saying it's icky that other people are doing it. Just to me, it feels a little icky if I think about you know, sketching PPE. All right, so we got the space uh, station portion. So now I think there was a question about something like a stargate or some sort of gate on the ground so I'm gonna set that to the side we'll do a review of course of all the stuff that we do like we always do there's a ton more I could do to this sketch as you know it's always hard to know when to stop why to stop how to stop all of that good stuff so I just wanted to add some texture just on the rim here Candace asked for some sort of stargate, so we'll do that. Oh, thanks, Philip. Philip said he picked up the new brush pack. Hopefully you used the discount code. If you didn't, hit me up. I'll give you a little bit of a refund just to say thank you. Um, but yes, if you head to sketchaday.com, I, I think right now it dumps you on the store page. But if you head there and purchase something, use the code first timer if it's your first time buying something. And it'll give you a small discount to say thank you. So you check that out. All right, let's see if we can just get some more texture in here. Now, if the planet looks orange from above, we're gonna have to do some weird orange landscape when we do that. So that should be pretty, pretty interesting. I just wanted a little bit of atmosphere around the planet. So just taking a pencil, lightly shading, just on the perimeter here, fading out. And let's finish out the stars. So I didn't really put any stars down here for some reason. And also just a little bit of white on the rim of the planet. Happy little stars. All right. Thank you for being here. Um, for a minute, there was like no one on the stream and I was like super worried. So I appreciate you all coming back and joining. Or if this is your first time, thanks for being here. Either way, 
This is Sketch Day Live. Be sure to hit subscribe and turn on alerts. If you want to support, because people have asked in the past, and again, thanks to Remy and Turbo with Games. It's Remy and Joel for the contributions last time. Thank you so much. Not required, but always appreciated. Links are in the video frame if you feel so inclined. Or, you know, if you'd rather get some, just hit up the store. Check that out. I'm going to be adding adding some fun merch. Patreons will receive free updated stickers. I'll be mailing those out as well. If you haven't gotten your brushes yet, your free brushes, Patreons, let me know. It's patreon.com slash sketch day. You do have to be following for two months to get your free brushes, but just thank you for the support. All right, I'm going to be done now. We're done. Done, done, done. Okay. There's a lot more I could do to this, um, especially even digitally, but we'll leave it there. Okay. So there's our space station thing. And now we have, have we landed on the planet and is everyone in a vehicle? Should we design the suits first? Maybe we do that first. All right. So the suits, let's say, and I'm not going to do a full bust. I'm not going to do a full bust here, but um, I do want, this is just my placeholder hands here for this suit. Maybe something like this. Maybe looking off into the distance. Maybe something like this. This is our female astronaut or traveler. And we've since removed our helmet, which is right here. She's holding it. I feel like you shouldn't have to narrate your drawing if it's good enough, right? So maybe I'll just draw. <laughs> and hopefully we'll be able to pull something out of this one. All right, I'm not really sure what a suit would need, except maybe there's like, you know, ultrasonically welded seams or something. ribs of some sort. Maybe this isn't the planetary suit, but more of a flight suit. draw a lot of people on the stream here either so thank you for bearing with me and also motivating and inspiring me to do more of the things that make me a little uncomfortable it's not so much that I can't just you know I feel like it takes it's a lot of practice to get to a, a point where you feel fairly confident. So I've always tried to draw 
people of one sort or another. Mostly in my spare time. <laughs> what is a Black Ross? Yes, look up look up Bob Ross. And uh You'll see. He was a very influential, if not, yeah, this, this whole thing's messed up right there, but whatever. Um, very influential, if not essential part of many, many humans who have since entered visual arts professions or have that interest. He was a television version of what I do. I guess you could say I'm definitely influenced by, by him. He had a very, just a very great um, television presence, was able to explain things in a way that made art approachable. And he was just really well known for that, so can't thank him enough. He's since passed, but I think you can find some of his streams on like Twitch as well. So you can check those out. Yeah, the face is a little bit weird, but I'm gonna roll with it. Another thing I'm working on, believe it or not, is just leaning into my sketches and if there's anything weird about them just trying to make the best of them so that's also something I'm committing to being better at also diversity in my sketches I find that I when I've drawn people I've often made them not like myself so I'm gonna try and be a little bit more representative of myself, my culture, all of that. I'm Jamaican, by the way. Well, I'm a US citizen, but <laughs> I was born in Jamaica. Let's put it that way. So by culture, heritage, I am Jamaican. And all these facial structures, trying to shade in a similar way, you know, thinking of things in terms of spheres and... That's right, making happy mistakes. Thinking of things in terms of spheres and uh, cylinders, you know, as you're shading them. So, you know, maybe if this is in the future, they have blue here. Maybe. Maybe so. Or maybe there was a virus that turned everyone's hair blue. We'll never really know. <laughs> Luke says, no Black Ross for president is what you're saying. Yes, exactly. All right, a little bit of touch up on the face, fix a few things. And now kind of shade and tone this a little bit more. So I've got this E74. Use this just to kind of contour things a little bit under the nose, these eye sockets, right? Things like that. Just things I've learned from observational drawing, uh, but more so observe, like, as you travel, go around, keep your eyes open, observe what happens, 
It's gonna help you in your drawings make those choices that kind of help things feel a bit more realistic. All right, so I got that done. Woo, I'm like literally sweating because <laughs> that was nerve wracking. <laughs> I get so self-conscious when I draw people. There's a confession for you today. I'm gonna keep it real with you. I get self-conscious, so. She turned out okay. And since we're on this planet, like we've just landed, I wanna make sure to kind of contextually, like put a pin in that, so to speak. So to do that, all we have to do, not all we have to do, but what I'm going to do is take some of this yellow and use that as a bit of rim light. Now remember there was, not was, there is atmosphere on this planet. As we showed, we're just kind of We're just kind of making it work here. All right, and let's see, warm gray three. I do want to get a little bit of, there we go. Shadow going. Squint your eyes as you're working. It'll help you kind of determine where you need shadows. If a form that's supposed to have a certain shape is reading or not. I'll definitely help you with that. All right, just like that. And now I wanna just kind of hit the whole thing with, like I said, this orange they did land okay I made a little mistake there but we will make it work Tim Gunn always says, make it work. CC Master wants to know, what should you draw? Well, I think next I'm going to be drawing a scene where our lovely astronaut here encounters some artifact. So we'll do that. space oh I did want to on the helmet here you know we have this this is kind of the visor right here so I was gonna shade that in real nice You need an idea of what to draw. You know, whenever I run out of ideas, I go for a walk. And then I try to ask myself, what do you like? Do you like cars? Do you like video games? I don't know. And then pick something from, from those themes. That always seems to work for me. Can't exactly give you an idea right now because I am working. Working it for you guys here on Sketch Day Live. This is your first time. Please hit subscribe. If you don't want to subscribe, at least tell a friend. Be like, yo, I saw this dude doing this dope ass sketch of some space stuff. You should check him out. 
every Sunday. Yeah, that would be appreciated too. All right. So we've left the space station. We've landed. We're taking a survey of the landscape here. And now we encounter our artifact. I feel like I need to do some sort of spaceship or lander as a part of this. So setting up the scene, let me think. Um, I want main character here to be looking at thing over here. Okay, so there's a foreground background thing that's gonna be happening. So I have to account for that. As I think of the composition before working on the composition itself, or starting the drawing, I should say. Let me just move these markers. If you guys could see the mess on my desk right now, I mean, more than this, you would, you'd probably have a good laugh. Okay, let's move these. All right, so like I said, I want some artifact here and then kind of a character happening on a scene. And I don't know if, if this character should be like holding binoculars or, or what just yet, but like I said, no helmet. Maybe, maybe they're wearing a backpack, kind of helps me simplify at least the illustration somewhat as we freestyle it. Other arm. It's a short arm. I'll figure out the uh, hand in just a sec. Okay, so here legs, maybe a belt, kind of carry through these lines from the spacesuit, And there's some sort of artifact. I like rock formations. I feel like they just do a really good job of allowing me to set up distance, scale, so I've been doing these a lot. <laughs> if you're sick of rock formations, let me know. Maybe the maybe the station is like it's a low orbit, so you can kind of see the station up here. You know, that'd be kind of cool. It's like in super low orbit. There's another craft that just left <clears throat> the station. This artifact is in, encased, ensconced in, in uh, these crystals or rocks. And maybe there's more of these crystals kind of jutting out of this rock face. You know? So again, foreground, background. As, I, as I'm in the foreground, I'm gonna be having heavier line weights. Just need to check the suit, make sure I carry through some of the details I had. So in other words, I'm just referencing this sketch and making sure and being somewhat respectful of those details. You know, we didn't do anything on the knees, but I'll hint at something there.
Just kind of finish out the background. So I have, you know, back, mid, foreground kind of happening. On Wednesday, we did our nature show. So if you missed that, check it out. You'll kind of see my approach to rocks and things like that as I'm drawing. Let's say seven wheels. How about that? CC master. <laughs> CC Masters asking, how many wheels for whatever drawing he's working on? He, she, they. Okay, so background, I wanna I wanna make sure the colors up front are saturated. Colors in the shadows are cool. Playing with some cool and warm. So let's jump to, I'm gonna use my warm grays. Well, actually, the, well, the atmosphere of the planet is orange. So just to remind myself of that, because I know how forgetful I am. I'm gonna just throw on a nice little outline here. Right? So that's gonna be orange. And then anything in the shadows, I wanna be cool. So I'm gonna use a blue gray for those. And we'll probably mix some warms as well. And we have that crystal artifact thing that I need to draw in here. So I'll get that in. It's going good, Ben. We are doing Sci-Fi Sunday today. Thanks for joining. Just working on a scene. Progressively, we started with a space station. They landed, we checked out suits and a human, sketch that out. And then also are now working on you know, what they may have discovered on this planet. So traditionally you have warm, cool colors that help indicate proximity to you in a view. But here we're gonna mix it up because we have that cool color, or sorry, warm color in the sky. So I'm gonna put some warms against cools, particularly here, where these rocks might be behind the main light source a bit. She's coming up on this bluff. And sees the artifact and is like, what is this? Okay, so just using, using some blue gray here. Again, if you missed it, check out the stream from Wednesday where we did go over shading rocks and some of the things I do there. But feel free to check that out. So sketch a day live, sci-fi Sunday, mugshot rules, what's up? Shout out again to my Patreons for the support. Much appreciated, as always. And if you're feeling so inclined, there are links in the video frame for how you can contribute or donate to Sketch Day. All right, so hopefully you can kind of see here, warm, cool, We'll get some line weight in, all that good stuff. Her suit is white with blue accents. So that being said, I'm going to keep with the shadow here being cool. And focus on the cores, right? So if these shapes are rounded, you're gonna have a certain shadow core happening. And the shadows are going to be intense on the back. So I'll come back and make those right. <clears throat> she also has blue hair. Which turns out is convenient for hiding things if we need to. Just that opaque color. It's going to work beautifully and nicely 
for framing this out. <clears throat> the hand will kind of sketch in and fill in. I'm good, Mugshot. Warmer colors are usually for the foreground, yeah, but we're kind of mixing it up because the sky here is orange and I want to have some light, warm tones for the ground, but then maybe over here the ground changes color a little bit, so just playing around. Um, either way, I'll make it work. This one's dry, I can't use that. All right, where are you? Warm gray three, there we go. So this is now a warm gray three next to this brown on the bottom and the blue here. And this I will use for some of these background elements. I actually need to go a little bit lighter as well, but we'll start dark in this little recess because that's gonna help with the contrast between the, the main character here as she's approaching this artifact. All right. And it's gonna help just kind of create the right focus and balance between these two. At least that's what I'm telling myself and I believe it's gonna work. <laughs> you do this enough times, you, you kinda know or start to know what works and what doesn't work. So Sketch Today Live, thanks for joining. As always, I used to be really afraid of mixing marker colors that weren't in the same color family, but um, I decided to kind of lean into it. It's been fun. It's been really, really fun to just play around and see what works. Should we do a monolith? Should we? Yeah, I think I'm gonna do a monolith with a beam shooting up or something. Some sort of monolith. Okay. Like it's just a thing like this. Monoliths seem, uh, what's the word? Prototypical, stereotypical, sci-fi. So that's what we'll do here. And we've got our gemstones kind of sticking out of this thing. This is Sci Fi Sunday. We've done a space traveler. We've done a space station. Now we have a scene on this planet, wherever it is. Maybe we should do some flora and fauna that they found on the planet. That's also something we could do. Is there life on the planet? I don't know. Okay, this line weight's helping to now separate the mid-ground from the background. And yeah, I don't know what this monolith is, but I'm feeling like doing something crazy like red to black. So I'm gonna go, and partly because it's gonna hide or help hide uh, that little mistake. So I'll go red and we're gonna blend this. Yeah, so now that orange is gone. So we'll do our red. And then I'm just gonna take some neutral grays. Like so. So it's got that nice warm red look to it. Let's see. Okay, that was neutral gray six. I need like a neutral gray three and I hope I have one. So I've got nine. If I don't have one, I'll just use some pencil or maybe just switch to a different gray and we'll make it work. Ah, there it is. 
So now I've got this three and I'll use this to just blend down. Okay, six, seven. I have three, six, seven, and nine, I believe. Yeah, neutral grade nine. So those are all too intense. So I need something in between. So we're just gonna have to fudge it. And I'll use this green gray five. Just as an intermediary value. All right, so this monolith, obviously, is kind of glowing at the bottom. Because it is, we're gonna have some nice lighting effects kind of happening around it. And if these crystals, whatever they are, maybe they're orange like the planet, again, to just tie everything together. It's kind of a crazy scene here. Shade in the perimeter here, and then I have an idea for the middle, and I hope it works, but we'll see. So these, I'm just gonna shade out like so. Just for these crystals. something like that now I need to get this portion is gonna be heavily shadowed we might get a little bit lighter reflected light so all this light needs to play off each other right so as you're drawing you want to think about things like that <laughs> eight six seven five three oh nine yes um, we're gonna have some reflected light happening or it could even be mineral deposits things like that but I'll go ahead and just add a little bit of orange here so maybe even help out some of our crystals the secondary tone this is super fun thank you guys um, I was thinking of doing a totally different thing today and how this would work out but this has been super fun kind of building this narrative and story together. Hope you're enjoying it. Because I am. Alright, so the ground, like I said, closer to the edge. You know, I talk about this in product rendering, but darkest darks, lightest lights. Just having like an intense dark color next to a light color really does help reinforce three-dimensionality where it counts. So pay attention to that, play with how you shade as well. You know, use lines if you need to help you, but there you can kind of see the light lights and dark, dark darks working together a bit. So I'm gonna go really dark under this overhang with some more grays. And then I think, yeah, we'll have time for one more sketch after this. So it could be the vehicle they use on the surface of the planet. It could be this little launcher that just came off the ship. We can play and see what works. What's the difference between a product and industrial designer? Product design is a term that people came up with to, I think, help people understand um, a bit more about industrial design at least that's the way I interpret it but it's also a term that's been co-opted by people trying to um, let's say level up 
career-wise and can often be ambiguous. Like my last boss was in charge of product design, but came from like a marketing background and it was really weird. But, you know, you take the title, you do a few things and before you know it, you're a product designer. And I know I sound bitter, but um, it's it's just a bit of a an irksome term for me in some ways. Because product could be so many things, you know, it could be so many different things. Um, so I just feel like it's kind of this catch-all. All right, I still need to figure out her fingers. I just realized. Here should be pretty easy. All right, and let's get some background. Shading here, just have a little green gray. Sounds like Jean Gray, but green gray. I grew up watching X Men the Animated Series, so. That's where that reference came from. Alright, so now we've got kind of this main monolith thing on this cliffside. We've got character sky I feel we're close to wrapping up this scene as well so let's hear it what would you want to see next do you want to see some sort of space vehicle do you want to see the interior space on one of these spaceship modules that would be fun to be a cylindrical room or is there something else you want to see? Let me know. 867-5309. This is Spencer with the Sunday Sci-Fi Show on Sketch Day. Okay, I'll never do that again, but um, <laughs> thanks for being here and being a part of all this. All right, let me work on her a little bit. So I hope that answered your question about the difference between an industrial and product designer. I don't discern much of a difference, but I've just been in situations where it feels like a way to maybe transition from things like graphics to UX. UX is another one of those terms. What is a UX designer? means so many things to so many people. All right, I'm gonna get this backpack real quick. Also, this room is getting really hot because I've just been running all my lights. So I'm probably gonna have to wrap up soon. And just be like, all right, that's it, we're done. Just because it's easier, I'm gonna make this bag dark easier meaning should be easier to pull to uh, add details with just some white pencil or um, marker Stargate, did you miss it? Um, no, I just I just decided to do some sort of monolith instead. Just so I wasn't, you know, co-opting or copying the Stargate stuff necessarily.
little bit of light on the suit right there getting close guys so I need the separation between her arm and this area down here I don't necessarily want to make it too dark but we do need some contrast in this area just to help things pop a little bit so I'm using a warm gray 5 okay and because her arm is light the line weight that I add as well as any reflected light is just really going to help help this pop maybe I'll bring some of this blue in you know maybe it's something like this yeah it feels pretty good Escape pod would play off the storyline or vehicle they're using to explore. That's true. Um, so I could do that. So yeah, how about we do that vehicle that took off? No, let's do a room on the space station because then we get a little architecture, architectural sketching in as well. So that's that's what I think I'll do is. So one of the modules. And then you guys who wanted to see a product style sketch, you'll still kind of get that from what I do here. Thanks again for watching. This is Sketch Day Live. Every Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday. It's going to be another busy week. I'm doing two additional streams for Adobe in one week. So I might be a little frazzled come Friday. All right. So I'll work on the line work for her in just a sec. Let's get the sky in. I want to go just with that orange, which was this yellow 10, but maybe we can create a little bit of bl a blend as well. So whenever you're looking at the horizon, oft times you'll see there's a different color closer to the horizon, or it, the sky looks a little lighter. So that's what I'm going to try and do here is just make a little blend upward. I know I already had that orange there, but that's okay. So what I mean to say is if you look up at the sky, it gets a little deeper blue further up. But since this is an alien planet world experience, maybe it's a little bit different here. Let me make sure I don't shade over a little space station guy here. Then we'll blend these two together. Thanks for hanging, guys, on Sketch a Day. I am using my cheap Ohuhu markers for this, so. So far, so good. We're a couple weeks in now of me using these, and price-wise, to performance, they do really well. And no, they don't sponsor me, but they make a good product. Ohuhu marker, 
Just search on the channel if you're curious. You'll be able to find my review. Some initial thoughts. I probably should do a follow-up as well since I've been using them for a while. Also, if you just don't like reviews on the site, let me know. Um, I don't want to waste your time or mine. So, um, if you prefer instruction or time lapses or what have you, you let me know. I promise I won't be offended. Okay. It's a little bit of white here. And we're going to use the white on the monolith to maybe show. I did say maybe a beam shooting up, but I'm going to scratch that idea. Maybe it just has text all over it or something. Some sort of alien script. Finally, I will finish these hands <laughs> because I just kind of suck at hands. So as far as like my confidence goes, this is something incredibly uncomfortable with me, for me rather. So thanks for waiting, being patient as I kind of decided what I wanted to do there. There we go. And now, just work on her outline. Using a brush pen here. And we'll just clean this up. messed up on the butt cheek and then as I mentioned with the backpack shading it in dark gives me the chance now to use a white pencil and bring out some of those details that I want and for some reason <laughs> I haven't been able to find many white pencils in my studio so let's see what I can do here this is not a white pencil this is what's this this is a French gray French gray pencil, but enough that on the backpack here. I can sketch some stuff in, pull some details out. some of these hairs with a little bit of reflection in there. Just a little bit like that. Oh, thanks, Boik Boik. Says, I'm just sketching while watching your stream, not scream, and it's very relaxing, so thank you. Yeah, we had some technical difficulties earlier, so thanks for being here and being patient, all of you. 
who witnessed that train wreck. Yeah, I have no idea what happened because now the stream like has been stable. I don't want to jinx it, but it's been pretty stable. So whatever voodoo magic you guys did, thank you. Thank you very much. So with the cheap markers, one of the downsides is you just don't get the range of color that you do with Copic markers. So I'm having to use some Copics here to do a few things I wanted to do just with the lighting. with the lighting and some blends. Remember the atmosphere is kind of orange, so that's what I'm using to kind of light these little rock features here. Squint, take a look. There's a lot I could do to this still, but I'll go for another 15 minutes or so. And we'll do one of the quarters on our lander, or sorry, our station module that's up here in the sky. Okay, so we kick things off again with the space station over this planet. Took a quick look at one of our travelers who encountered this artifact on the planet. And now, let's just take a look at, we're not gonna finish the story per se, but let's take a look at one of the modules on the ship. Thanks for joining us again. My name is Spencer, I love to draw. This is what I do and I do it every day on the YouTube here, but also we go live. So if you want to catch those, definitely hit subscribe and turn on alerts. Otherwise, YouTube won't let you know when we're here. All right, so module time. Okay, so this one I was kind of thinking about while drawing, like how do I want to show the module? You know, do we want to start with or do like a one point perspective, essentially. You know, circle here and then big circle and everything's connected to that circle. It's certainly one way to do it. Right, everything's a circle going back. Could do it that way. Could do like a cross section of a module. I kind of like the cross-section idea, actually. Because I know a few people were asking about cross-section drawings and how I do those. So this might be a good chance to maybe do a little bit of that. So I'm, look, I'm, I'm imagining, maybe not even this module, but I like this detail on this module that I had sketched in. So I'm just trying to kind of riff on that a little bit. But let's say we decided to take something like, some sort of quarters. Let's extend this out. Then you might have, let's see, there's no gravity. So how do people sleep? Maybe they sleep in pods. Okay, if this is some sort of sleeping quarters. 
Maybe they sleep in pods. And the reason for that is you don't want to just be floating off in space. Maybe one of these pods is open. So we can kind of see inside. I think I'm going to keep this one to just gray marker and line work. Just because I've been going for like almost two hours now. I don't want to get too burned out. Okay, we because this top ledge is obscuring the rest, I won't show that through. Oh, maybe there's some connector piece here or something. Or, and just for drawing through sake, maybe something else. Okay, it could be some module that's in these sleeping quarters as well. Because you have to remember, this isn't, there's no gravity. So up is down, left is right, all that good stuff. Draw through, kind of establish placement here. Maybe some sort of window thing happening on the top. Or maybe I'll do two of these because um, this one's pretty simple. Just close that off and to make it more of a product or vignette quick background on here throw some line weight on shadow and we'll be good all right so that's one and then like I said there's another way to do it which is if you just had a horizon line a point here Basically, just circles. Okay, if this is our module here. You know, maybe this has some sort of terminals that come off the side. Curve, curve screen kind of thing. Some sort of viewing window. Also the kind of sketch you might want to do an overlay on, at least in this case.
Maybe this is that connection point. All right, guys, we're going to be wrapping up soon. So if you have any last thoughts, ideas, things you want to see on the channel, let me know. Now's your chance. If there's something you wish you had seen today, let me know as well. I can take the heat. This is a paper made flare, in case you're wondering. Just a cheap marker. I think they cost like 60 cents or so if you buy them in bulk. If you're ever wondering about the stuff I use, if you go to sketchaday.com slash stuff, it's a pretty easy way for, for you to check out all the materials I use here on Sketchaday. So check that out. something here surface change detail if I were doing this for a real project of course I would want to research and understand a bit more about space stations modules and what goes into them but <laughs> Luke says I'm glad I can use your sketches for homework yeah <laughs> sometimes I wonder like with the requests, if y'all are trying to get me to do your homework for you. But it's all good, as long as we're all learning. I learn by doing and showing, so this is good for me as well. And I appreciate the challenges. Thanks for making me draw people today. Always a little nerve wracking, honestly. I'm gonna use these chart pack markers just to do my quick grays. So a little gray tone on the inside. We'll get darker toward the back. Make sure just catching, make, making sure rather to just catch shadows where I need them to be showing. I'm not going to use these too long just because I'm in a closed room. It's a small room and if I use these for too long, I will get high and pass out. They're really strong. I'm probably killing some brain cells right now. A penguin in an exoskeleton. <laughs> if I teach again at a local college, that's what I'm going to give the students as their homework. Penguin in an exoskeleton, go. All right, let's get some shadows in here. I feel like with these gray marker sketches, it's just really important to be frugal with your gray if you are going to be applying it. And make sure that wherever you put it, it serves to enhance the contrast, but not necessarily distract from everything. All right, so there's maybe one view of a module. Let's do another. And the marker also just helps me kind of pull out whatever elements need some definition. 
as the lines are pretty scratchy here. And since this is a cutaway view, I really want to make sure this edge is just nice and crisp, as well as, let's see, uh, something like this. Actually, this will just go back. And this kind of just helps frame the drawing in, just that value. Superheroes. Um, I'm not gonna do that today, but it's something. It's something I could do in the future, for sure. I don't see why not. As long as you don't mind looking at some ugly superhero drawings for me. Okay, we've got our sleep modules here. I'm gonna keep those white and just keep using this gray. Maybe a darker gray as well to separate foreground, background. Nice and light, easy, and now gray for the pods. Is this? It's weird. Okay, I need my basic gray one. There you are. I knew it felt weird. All right, home stretch, guys. I feel like I'm starting to lose my mind a little bit. Just like we had on that other sketch, I'm gonna just sketch in some stuff on the perimeter here. Maybe just some conduit type things for where this cutaway is happening. Two, three, four, five, and I'll just do one more. Even though it's not perfect, five. All right, now for the outside. Definition around these pods, door. Door opening. Now I'm gonna go darker on the inside. Just like that, and I want to get this 
far side of the module cover, shade it in. Okay, and finally, a little heavier line weight. Clean things up. I messed up right there, so I'm gonna throw in an arrow. Just a little arrow like that. Some text, <laughs> just to clean it up. All right, a little bit more shadow. I do wanna go darker. in a couple spots. Trying not to turn this into a full-blown rendering, but it's proving difficult. Just want this to pop. There we go. So a couple things you might want to add if you're doing a drawing kind of like this. Um, you know, do a perspective check. I can see here, for example, I'm a little bit off. Maybe fudge and fix that a little bit. A couple lines on the inside. Actually, this does have a window of sorts, so I need to kind of show that through. a little bit of the inside of this pod through that glass. And here just on these module things I'm just going to throw some part lines on. Finish up some of the lines that I neglected to. Maybe add some text. Texture dots if necessary. Just kind of hint at things like handles, if there's a handle or hinge, things like that. All right, so there's one module of our ship. So once again, it's been a long stream, but we did our spacecraft. Thanks to Tom, gave this suggestion. We did the place they landed, so there's that. Set this to the side. We looked at what one of these explorers might look like as well. We sketched a little bit of one of these modules on the inside. Could probably use a lot more work, but you know, good enough for now. And also did another module here. So covered a lot of ground today. Thank you for hanging, being a part of this. It's the International Space Administration. So just writing that logo right there. So thank you for being here. Thank you for being part of the stream. 
my apologies again for the technical difficulties at the beginning we're gonna be back on Wednesday with another stream and that'll be at around 5 p.m. Pacific so you can check you can sign up for or sorry subscribe turn on alerts and you won't miss any of this good stuff on Wednesday we'll do stuff do something more traditional um, industrial design stuff so if you have any product ideas or things you want to see let me know but this has been sketch a day live on this Sunday thanks again and I do want to say let me cut over here there we go hello everyone <laughs> I do want to say thanks for hanging thanks for the patience thanks for the support the contributions donations purchases all of that good stuff it totally helps me do what I do here I was able to get some more markers today that I'm going to be reviewing to answer some questions you guys have had. So that's how it all works. Um, your support, whether through purchasing things or donations or watching the stream, it totally helps. And I just want to say thank you. Love you guys. And thanks for helping my dream be a reality. So until next time, we'll see you. Take care. Black Ross out.